more and more big websites are getting into affiliate marketing. And we're talking sites that probably you wouldn't think about for being in affiliate marketing. So this is not a new thing. And in fact, if we go back to 2016, we see that the wire cutter was purchased by the New York Times for a reported $30 million. And that was back in 2016. And the wire cutter was mostly monetized with Amazon Associates and they've branched out and they work in other affiliate programs as well. And I'm actually curious from you. So leave a comment if you are just getting started or thinking about getting started in affiliate marketing or websites in general where maybe you have display ads and affiliate offers as well. Are you concerned about these bigger websites playing in this space? And we're talking CNN, Business Insider and some other large sort of news organizations. We'll look at some of the reviews. So if you're getting started, are you concerned about this? I'm also curious if you are already established, maybe you have a website that is earning some money. Have you seen any impacts from this over the last several months? And just let me know your thoughts in the comments here. So as we look a little bit closer, let's have a look at, say, the New York Times, and we're on the homepage here, you just navigate over to the wire cutter section and you'll see it's essentially the old wire cutter site from years ago, a little bit different, but there's so many reviews here. When you hop over to something like Business Insider, uh, no, I don't want any of your notifications, but you again can hop over to reviews and there's a huge section, essentially like anything that you could possibly think about reviewing as tech and electronics, style, home, kitchen, beauty, personal care, travel, like any anything you could buy, there's a review on it, which can be a little scary, right? These are huge websites. When we hop over to CNN, which generally we think of as a news outlet, we have CNN underscored. So they have products worth buying, Nordstrom, Solo Stove. They have specific things they're mentioning. And they are Amazon, Bose. We have VR headsets. And let's take a look at some of these reviews, especially on CNN here. So Amazon is offering discounts. And one thing you can see right off the bat, CNN underscore, this is up at the top here. And basically they say it's, something that uh, CNN news staff is not involved. And when you make a purchase, we receive revenue. So this is just a kind of piece of proof that affiliate marketing can be so profitable that the news industry is turning to it as a specific source of revenue. And you know, what the hell? They're not even going to have the news staff involved. The, this is just a content side of the website. So you can hop in and kind of see the length and quality of the reviews. Um, really, we just hop in and we see a short little section. They actually list some pricing in here, which that is uh, generally for most people, you're not allowed to list the price on an Amazon site unless the price is pulled via the Amazon advertising API. I'm getting into some details here, but if you check out some of the other videos on the channel, then you'll be able to see some of these details. So uh, again and again, we see these very specific prices, which generally that's against the terms of service as outlined by the Amazon associates. But my hunch is that CNN has special rules over here. So we see this on the CNN side and there's, you know, as you go through, you'll see like more and more reviews. We have shampoo, conditioner, we have orthopedic pet beds and uh, they list Home Depot, Ninja, kitchen blenders. We have Wi-Fi, uh, ring, video doorbells and all sorts of things, right? So when you start looking, you see sort of thin reviews without much detail. Um, when you hop over and look at some of the others, so let's look at the best baking sheets and cookie sheets over at Business Insider. You wouldn't think Business Insider are experts in the cookie sheet area, but they do have a review. 
And as normal, you know, this is an FTC guideline. They have to list that they earn from this. They have to disclose so that we know that they're compensated, which is the same for all of us. We all have to disclose that. So when you buy through our links, Insider may earn affiliate commission and you can learn more. So as we go through this, we actually see that maybe there's a little bit more detail in some of these reviews. Not a huge amount, but there's a little bit more. And they have several different affiliate programs. So we have Williams Sonoma listed here. I did see Amazon as well. And I think I saw a Walmart link too. So we have Target and Walmart. So they're kind of letting you pick your own poison, whatever product you want to get. And uh, finally, I'll just point out so I don't go too deep on this stuff. I Googled uh, just best laptops for college and ended up on NewYorkMag.com. Com, and then I found a whole other set of affiliate areas and just products and there's ads all over the place here too. But th the point is affiliate marketing is so profitable that these news organizations and these websites are basically using at their authority on their website and all the traffic that they can get to actually earn some money with affiliate marketing. So let me know your comments below what you think about sort of maybe the industry shifting or was this something that was in place for a few years and now it's maturing? Should we be concerned about it? Do we need to care? And I'll tell you my thoughts really quick here. I believe there's probably enough room for smaller publishers like us to be very specific about what we're writing about. And I think, you know, from the Google algorithm standpoint, things are going to be, you know, shifting a little bit. And we've seen a little bit more of that, where sometimes these bigger sites, just because they have so much authority and Google sends so much traffic to them that they are ranking a little bit higher for certain terms, especially the larger search volumes that happens quite often. But there are these long tail keywords, which we can turn to, you could use things like the keyword golden ratio or other long tail keyword research strategies and end up with something very specific. So if I'm searching for, instead of best laptop for college, best laptop for digital nomads traveling in a van, right? That's really specific and people are looking for something that is so tailored for what their application is, you might be able to help them a little bit better than some random review on CNN, where maybe they're not thinking about people traveling in a van or digital nomad in that lifestyle. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe, uh, check out some other videos, see if you dig it. And I'm, I'm Doug Cunnington, I blog over at Niche Site Project. You can download a lot of free templates and other systems that I use to run my sites.